Hello, old friend. Been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I bet you're wondering what became of our vault hunters. Let me tell you a story. After the death of Handsome Jack and the fall of Hyperion, Pandora was at peace, as much as it ever was. <laughs> their mission complete, the Crimson Raiders set their sights beyond the stars. You remember the Vault Key, right? It had that map with all the crazy floating holograms. The Vault Hunters believed it would take them to vaults across the galaxy. Of course, sometimes when you're busy looking forward, you forget to watch your back. I do not understand why we haven't left Pandora yet. We are nowhere closer to finding the vaults. This map is the most important scientific discovery in all of human history, and Mordecai is using it as a coaster. Does that matter? We don't even know which planets these are yet. I don't like flying blind. Sanctuary's holding together using spit and wishful thinking. She's barely staying in the air, let alone leaving the planet. Well, we gotta do something. People are talking about disbanding the Raiders, saying Pandora don't need us now that Jack's gone. We need a leader. She don't want the job, man. And can you blame her? Sometimes when you're the one calling the shots, people get hurt. Not making a choice is still a choice. So then, we have no plan, no working ship, no leader, and a soda can on the vault key! Lil, we need to make a call. What do you think? Ellie? That ain't the engines, Lil. This is Lilith. Sanctuary is under attack. All civilians evacuate the city immediately. Crimson Raiders, to me! Keep it up, Vault Hunter! The hell with the first law! To the vault key. <clears throat> Lilith, there's too many of these pendejos. This is Lilith. All Crimson Raiders, fall back to HQ. Just tell me where to point this some bitch. <laughs> Come on. Time to change the world. Whose soul is this? You all right, killer? 
Got as many people off Sanctuary as I could, but it was kind of a rush job. Looks like I scattered the Crimson Raiders around the area. Those weren't bandits that attacked us. They were trained soldiers. At ease, cowards. This is Colonel Hector of the new Pandora Army. You can stop running now. I already got what I wanted. Sanctuary and the Vault Key are mine once again. <laughs> Honestly, right, I was going. hoping for more of a fight. I mean, y'all got completely outmaneuvered. What happened to you, Crimson Raiders? Seems without your man rolling, y'all turned into a pack of baby racks with your tail barbs tucked between your talons. <clears throat> so here's what happens now. You've seen what my paradise gas did to your people. Next up, all of Pandora. Sure, you know, back in the day, Sanctuary was the pride of Doll's mining fleet. Seems to have fallen into disrepair. I hope you don't mind, but I've already made some upgrades. Here, I'll say it for you. Incoming. Number five alive! I'm the bastards! This is my kingdom! Squatter's rights! Bro! Those vine freaks are back! Okay, okay, who's saving me? Roll call! Anyone who's not gargling vine call! Scream bloody murder! <laughs> Show me some green arrows. Move! Hello? Anyone? Flower Princess? Mickey the Splane? Mama Pantstein? Scratchy Scratch! <clears throat> oh, not you two. You were the toughest one of all. The completionist in me is like, yeah! What's that? I hear the sounds of bloodthirsty murder, and I love it! <laughs> Whoever you are, mystery bandit! Kill, kill, kill those five freaks and turn that tide! Hey, how's that tide coming? Is it still turning? Heck yeah! Slice and dice those reaping creepers, my mysterious savior! Nice job. You are a mean machine! Some sort of clown themed novelty bar, enjoying weak old pizza and watered down booze. It's a hell of a lifestyle, folks, but it made you soft. In my experience, an army rocks from the top down. I led my people up from ruin, gave them something to believe in. That's why they follow me. We are New Pandora. We're the men who split our backs on the promise of paradise, but it was stolen from us. Now we're taking it back. Starting with your ship and your key. Now paradise is coming. And if I have to choke the life out of every last person on this planet to get there, then that's what I'm gonna do. Oh crap! A vault hunter! <laughs> oh, um, uh, heading! Easy, easy! easy. <laughs> hey, let's not get all shooty at me, okay? Uh, my name is Vaughn. Uh, now I know we're supposed to be like, you know, mortal enemies or whatever, but I don't know, the enemy of my plant monster enemy, right? Sure. Hey, looks like Hector kicked you out of your home too, huh? Well, I guess we better join forces. Welcome to my camp, the Backburner! Huh? 
Look, Hector's, Hector's Vine, Vine Freaks could be back, could be back at any, any moment. moment. We better, we better secure, secure camp, camp, Vault Hunter. The backburner's firewall got knocked out. And I'm talking an actual wall of fire. We gotta reset the security relays to get that firewall to flaming! You know, uh, you know uh, I actually opened a vault once. Went from Hyperion Accountant to Vault uh, Guy to Bandit War Chief. It's a long but very touching story. Hey, I'll tell you about it sometime over some questionably sourced meat. Me and my bandit clan were living over in the wreckage of Helios Station, then Hector shows up and ordered us to give him our moonshot cannons, but we said, hell no, we won't, bro! And then that, that didn't work out too well. We tried fighting off Hector's new Pandora soldiers, but we were no match for him. I probably should have armed my clan with more than presentation-grade Hyperion laser pointers. <laughs> Lesson learned, I guess. Me and the survivors regrouped here. We were getting ready to retake Helios when Hector launched a gas attack Nice! Now you can reboot the last relay. We'll have that old firewall of flaming in no time. And if any of my clan survive, they'll come running when they see a fire. They always do. It's hilarious. You did it! Hector sends more mind freaks. We'll be ready for it. Out of the rules! Mind freaks! Kill it! Stab it! Shoot it! Sweet kill! Now, let's chat Blood Pact. Well, I never thought I'd team up with a filthy, smelly vault hunter like you, but... Desperate vine free gas-turning times call for desperate measures. Screw that home thief, Hector! You and I are gonna mess that dude up! Blood Pact! Sup, killer. Good work finding a camp. Guess this will be our home while we figure out how to take back Sanctuary. Uh, this is my camp? Hey, Lil, step back if you don't want to get any bandit on you. Easy, easy! <laughs> we can share! Hey, want to take a spin in my lucky underwear? I'm listening. I'm gonna teleport back to Sanctuary and try to take Hector out. Maybe there's still time to fix this. <coughs> Not gonna happen. I can't get to him. Sanctuary's flooded with that gas. Tannis, can you... I don't know, whip us up an antidote? Of course. I will first need to discover the nature of these mutations. Send me some plant genitalia. I believe they are called flowers at your reading level. What she said. Let's get it done. May it help you kill many things. May it keep you safe in your travels. Good luck. So you cowards teamed up with that bandit from Helios? Figures. They gave up their moonshot cannons real easy. Now I can launch my paradise gas wherever my eye can see. Adapt and reuse. That's called strategy. You know, if you ever want to taste victory for a change. I'm so ready to kill that guy. Get Tannis those samples, killer. I'll keep rounding up the raiders. Tannis, I couldn't find you after the attack. You somewhere safe? Oh, yes. I'm secure in one of my many hidden panic shelters. Handy when you live in a constant state of panic. Oh. Enough small talk. Get me those samples and we'll have a plant monster army of our own in no time. We just need an antidote. <sighs> Fine. Honestly, sometimes you people make no sense what's... You might find yourself hitting harder while fighting within a gas pocket. Strange, but potentially helpful. Do keep a close eye on your exposure level. Unless sprouting vines and losing your mind is a newfound kink. In which case, I have some echo novels for your perusal. Judgment-free zone. Look for closed bulbs. I need pure specimens. I see the gas has infected the local fauna as well. Vault Hunter, try obtaining samples from those infected skags. to increase biomass at an exponential rate. In dumb speak, 
Gas makes tiny pe Creating this gas would require an understanding of advanced biogenetics I can only describe as brilliant mm -hmm. and arousing. Now we must discern how the gas is infecting humans. I will require samples, specifically brain matter, which I like to call that good gray stuff. Rain on my shoes. I like it. Yes. yes! Just as I suspected. I gained absolutely no information from those infected skags. The scientific method prevails again. <laughs> like a slag huff addict or a music enthusiast. I have disappointing news. I lack the expertise necessary to synthesize the gas and create our own legions of plant-human hybrids. Again, not doing that. <sighs> you sound just like that university ethics board. No matter. Return to the back burner and send me those samples. I'm running out of iridium, so I'm gonna make one last sweep for survivors. See you back at camp. What you want? Hey, that's my line. Get away from that door. Uh, I thought I could handle living with this guy, but hey, what do you think you're doing? What you want? If I ain't got nothing, quit rubbing it in. Psst. Vault Hunter. I finagled this spot in Earl's bunker because I'm not messing around with crazy plant gas that turns people into plant monsters. But he doesn't have any food. You will assist me. Go get me some food. And you know you will be handsomely rewarded. You son bitch! Quit your whinging or get out! Don't make me fork you in the testiculars. Uh, it occurs to me now that I may not have thought this all the way through. Oh, <laughs> 
does that even mean? It don't have to mean nothing! This is my house! Fancy words. What, you think you're better than me? I ain't thinking, I'm knowing. You're nothing but a capitalist pig dog. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Well, maybe I'll just kill you and take that you do for a while. Bring them to me. Where'd you put the cheese grater? We don't even have any cheese. That's aside the point. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Ah, girl, at least I won't starve. But now I need to protect my food from outsiders. Bring me a gun, something big, like a rocket launcher, to strike fear into the hearts of my enemies. And also, Earl, uh, I ain't feared of nothing. Except cotton balls. Hate them things! I hate this little wet pants cry, baby. I want out of this setup. You hear? Do me a solidify and beat up on one of his machines. <laughs> what the hell is going on out there? My machine! My poor baby machine! Ah, what's done is done, I guess. To be honest, I'm a bit relieved to be out of there. The whole place smelled like cat pee. But there were no cats! Besides, I can't stay mad at you. You're still my best customer. Hey, thanks! Oh, you're probably good for something. Accept it with your weapon Also, choice. leave me alone! Oh, now that I've got my own privacy, I gotta... Oh, 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 things! Oh, Send me those samples as soon as possible. I've made every preparation and completely disrobed so that there is nothing between me and the laboratory grade mylar of this biohazard suit. The sensation is very satisfying. Oh, that's on me. Yeah, um, I was scanning my glutes for reasons and, uh, and I busted the science thing. <laughs> Just give it a little bandit high five. Scanning biosignature. I love that sound. Vault Hunter, over here. Tannis is working on an antidote. In the meantime, let's find a way back up to Sanctuary. Yo, Lilith. Me and Talon got a nice perch up by Mount Scarab. We might have found a way up to Sanctuary. Mordecai, good to hear from you. I wasn't gonna let you fight this one without me. Oh crap! Brace yourselves! Bunch of Hector Salad soldiers are heading your way! Ellie! It's time for a fight! Those defenses ready? Almost! Could use some help getting more turrets online. VH, there's a bash range on the table over there. Grab it for me, will you? Those things will fix anything with a few thwacks. I set up a badass show point just outside of camp. Get them turrets humming, Vault Hunter. Catches your eye. This will be a primo kill zone once you fix up them turrets. One more turret should do it. Just in time. I see them bounty some bitches coming. Let's whack them weeds. <laughs> Defend the camp.
smell like a vault hunter, but you totally fight like a bandit. And that is the highest compliment. Tannis, any updates? Well, I cannot produce an antidote, but I have traced the gas to a scientist named Cassius Leclerman. Whoa, Cassius? I know that science, dude. I'm gonna call him now. Yo, Cassius. Hey, it's Vaughn. Vaughn, hello. Uh, I'm rather busy on a secret project. Gotcha, gotcha. Super quick question. Uh, did you plant monster up my bros? I would never plant monster up your bros. Hector swore that... Ah, oh, I see. I've been tricked into working for an evil megalomaniac. My bad. Hey, happens to the best of us, bro. Come to my secret laboratory. The entrance is through the old doll mine. I'll begin working on an antidote immediately. I got eyes on the mine, Lilith. I'll let you know if I see anything. Keep me posted, Mordecai. The Vault Hunter will meet you there. Talon, Mordecai's new bird. I think he's trying to tell us something. What's that, Talon? Mordecai got attacked by vine freaks. Vault Hunter, follow Talon! Still haven't heard from Mordecai. Keep following Talon. We've lost too much already. We can't lose Mordecai. He's the best scout in the Raiders. We've been fighting together since the beginning. Mordecai, Brick, Roland. We had each other's backs. We fought together. That's how we survived for so long. When Roland died, Mordecai got me through some dark times. Couldn't have taken down Jack without him. The Crimson Raiders wouldn't be the same without Mordecai. Tell it to me! I want to bleed and cry! <laughs> Mordecai's infected. This is my fault. We need that antidote, now! I'll take him back to camp, get through that mine, and find the scientist. Excellent. I eagerly await your arrival. Good luck at that old doll mine. I heard that place was haunted. Cursed haunted. Ah! 
high quality, low prices, and no questions asked. May it help you kill many. What, did you think I'd leave my flank exposed to counterattack? That's basic military strategy. I already reinforced that door with three feet of solid titanium, you dum-dums. Point Hector. This guy's a four-star asshole, but again, he's right. That gate's too thick for me to phase through. Come on back to camp and we'll figure it out. Yo, killer, over here. We need to punch through that gate somehow. Cassius is our only chance of saving Mordecai and retaking Sanctuary. Tritanium's chunky stuff, Lil. Gonna take one hell of a weapon, and what we got here ain't gonna cut it. <coughs> Yo, Lilith! What about the Helios moonshot? Yeah, that could work. Bandit, you lived on Helios for a while. Think we can get the moonshot cannon working? Oh yeah, totally! But, just so you know, to get into Helios, you're gonna have to go through... The Burrows. Have fun, don't die! I don't love using Jack's weapons, but if it gets the job done, I can live with it. Oh man! This is exciting! Surviving the Burrows is, is a bandit rite of passage! You know what, if you make it through, you can be my Vice War Chief! Man. Vault Hunter! Could you help me out with a recruitment drive? So, that attack pretty much killed or mutated my whole clan, the Helios Hellions. Could you show the bandits in the area that were the best by, you know, slaying enemy bandit leaders and staking claim to their territory? Basic stuff. That's a real letdown. There were some tough old bastards in the crew. But hey, it comes with the territory, right? Bandit life! Hey, sugar. I've got something important for you. In case you didn't know, my son Scooter, he... Well, he died recently. He went out the way I always saw him, as a hero. I've said my own goodbyes, but before we rushed off Sanctuary, I found an echo in Scooter's things. Says it's for you, Vault Hunter. Hey, Vault Hunter! In the highly likely event that I got deadened by, like, a dinosaur or a big explosion or something, I uh, here's to, by name, you, the executioner of my last William Bestment. Oh, my sweet dumb boy. Okay, first off, collect all my best girly mags for posteriority. Once you get all them skin rags, you make sure and find them a good home, okay? Mm -hmm. Fly our colors over your victory so everyone knows it was us! You actually brought an infected soldier back to camp. Man, I keep thinking you mine the idiot shaft dry. Then you go and strike a big old vein of dumbass. <sighs> He'll get his soon enough. Focus on Helios. <laughs> Alright, so these tunnels are sacred bandit territory. And I am totally breaking the bandit code by telling you how to get in. But anybody who could tell him he's already dead. So just bust down the electrified gate and you're in. The sandworms definitely won't escape, probably. You know the drill. Fly that flag. Nice. Oh, you killed that guy so hard. On to the next one. That's the spot! Now raise the flag so everyone knows this is our turf now! Falls off them green bloods you're fighting. 
Then I'll carry this thing faster than you can say, hey, that guy doesn't have a medical license. Get him out of this children's hospital. Just between you and me, I also got a bit of a ulterior motive for my little project. You see, I'm trying to catch the eye of that tennis lady. I like to cut her for a graduated cylinder, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> such a generous offer. Well, waste not, I guess. Just bring him back to me and I'll hold on to them for now. Now this time, I'ma predict that y'all took a quick boomer break in the Dookie Hut. Like right now, right when you're listening to this. Enjoy that Dookie, y'all! <laughs> Look at all these recruits! Fantastic! Now it's time for the initiation. Climb up there and follow my instructions. For my next predictione, I bet everybody got into a freaking free four hour riot to get their mitts on these primo tissue issues. Extra sensory future side, y'all. Whoa! Okay, that was all extremely uncomfortable, but now that it's over, let's see what else he wants. For my next last wishes, I officially transfer ownership of the most sweetest ass business on Pandora to my most favorite sister. I'm talking about Ellie. Oh, Scooter. <laughs> well, hey there, cutie pie. What's this all about? Ellie, 
Scooter wants you to run the catcher ride. Oh, dang. I knew this day was coming. It was nice just to hear his voice coming out of those janky-ass speakers, but I'll do it. Ellie, if you're listening to this, it means I've become a super ghost on that big racetrack in the sky. Hmm. Driving ghost cars around the sun and shit. Sorry, sis. I'm sure you're real sad and all, but you gotta keep them runners running for me, okay? Bye-bye, Scoop. And... Thank you. Well, guess we better record some new lines for the catch ride, huh? Recruits! I am the mighty bandit king, Vaughn! Woo! Good effort, Jerry. Being a bandit means being tough as nails. Prove you've got what it takes by leaping off that thing! Vault Hunter, show them how it's done! Well, if they can do it, so can I! Yeah, they're not tougher than me! Uh, <laughs> looks like they put the fall in Trust Fall! <laughs> wow, well, I am proud to welcome you to my new clan, the Vanguard! It's just you, though. Uh, you're the only survivor. But I guess one new clan mate's better than none, right? Anyway, welcome to the clan. Here's your goodie bag. Scarab crew? I thought it was just an old bandit ghost story about a bunch of doll bros who got trapped in that mine. Ah, see, now this is interesting. There's a bioconfabulating spore translator built into the, uh, the RNA. Yeah, that, that sounds sciencey. Let me see here. Here, try this little concoction. Give it to that sorry bastard there and see if you don't turn it back into a proper human. Still breathing. Besides, we're off to a great start. Thanks for your help. This is where the cars live. Get you one. Yeah, my ride might not get huh. there alive, but I don't feel right even as catchphrases like that. Tell you what, give me some time and I'll come up with some new ones. Transfer is complete. Why don't you give it a whirl? Get you a big, beautiful war machine right here, y'all. Catch a ride. Thanks, Vault Hunter. Let's see what else Scooter wanted you to do. And finally, whence fifth I depart from this mortal plane, do me the honor of reverently laying down a totally righteous memorial in my name. Then do a sick ass booster jump over that thing. Wow! I've actually been working on a little something at his final rest and place slash impact crater. Why don't you meet me on out there and see what I whipped up? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty awesome. But I think it needs just one final touch, don't you? I'm going to decide between righteous flames of furious fury and sick ass danger arcs of electric badassery. Do whatever you think is right, Paul Hunter. Man, that's looking sweet. Now it's time to christen this bad boy. Go ahead and show me one of them outrunner boost jumps over this thing. Let's get this burger party started. Catch a
seen that ratchet's badassery? You did right by him. Thanks, VH. I know Scooter wasn't exactly everyone's cup of tea, but he was a good man. And that's one hell of a rare thing on Pandora. It would have meant a lot to Scooter that you did all this. It did to me. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Time for two! And for my finalist of final words, I just want to say... Oh, and tell the Swarms I said, I always wanted to be a Vault Hunter, but never really had the stuff for it. was correct. Hector is using your vault key to mass produce the gas. Soon he will have enough to blanket all of Pandora to create his paradise. But everyone on Pandora will die in the process. He's really got our test tubes and a centrifuge. Oh, so you got that video I sent then. Waiting on the reply. What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I've already won. Here's how this ends. Me presiding over paradise, you twisting your mutated limbs into a knot and dying alone like a sad pretzel. Point, Hector. was in danger and you were wrecking face to help him. I'm in. Follow me. Rick, you're here. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye. Yo, Lilith, I got bones with your leadership style. But as long as Morty's in trouble, I'm on the team. Nothing else to say. And I'll leave you to it. Do what you do best, Brick. Mordecai's been on my ass about getting a nun Put the jokes on him.
Let's show these pricks whose planet this is! Timber! <laughs> Bruise my cuticle on that one. Hell yeah! I'll post up here. You get in there and blast those fools. Morty's life is on the line. Time to practice some botany. See you at the fat burner slab. Time to wreak vengeance on the loaderbots that Hector hacked to murder most of my clan. There's more important things at stake, Bandit. We need that Moonshot Cannon to clear the way to Cassius. He's our only hope of curing Mordecai. Right, of course, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll give you a ton of cash if you also wreak my vengeance. Frag him, babe! seed whatever gas to make Pandora a paradise. I mean, it's pretty righteous. <laughs> Elevators, huh? Focus. Moonshot cannon. Get it working. Blow open the door to the mine. So, does anyone actually know how to use this thing? We've got to blow open that door. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. You're gonna fire the biggest cannon on the whole muckabuckin' planet, and you didn't call me? Tina, it's it's a war zone between us and Helios. I'm not putting you in danger. Really? Yeah, I hear you. But I'm your demolitions expert. And now the Vault Hunter is inside, and you can bamf me in to hang out with the mission, and I got so bad, please, it's probably my birthday. It takes a lot out of me to teleport anything besides myself. It's not as easy as... <laughs> Fine. Control room. I took my bandit out there with my right hand on a Hyperion account ledger and my left hand on a still beating Skag heart. Man, I could stress eat some Skag hearts right about now. Yes! That was awesome! Okay, Tina. I hope this was worth it. I'm just gonna. Rest here for a sec. You take care of the moonshot. Lily, I got this. Listen up! Class in session. This 
is Ballistics 101, and I am Professor Boom. First lesson! Those regular moonshot shells ain't gonna do shit against big old metal doors. We need that good, good armor penetration. So whilst I start constructing the missile, your homework is to get the explosivos that are going inside. Class dismissed! Swinkums. Task was cut. Power complete! I am bored. Give him a bit. Now you're a lovesick aristocrat who pines for the hand of Contessa Aorta Hartsworth. I shall play the part of the celestial imp, Cherubian. If my love arrows are to fly true, you must purloin two stabilizer fins. But when I shoot her, black! I am the Thickum, babe! This love missile gonna have fun, like, like a big dragon. Love is in the air, mon ami. Return post haste. Contest is mine. Of course, those bots had no idea what they were doing. And you know what they say. Justice is completely arbitrary and only leaves you hollow and broke because you paid someone to kill your enemies for you. I started thinking about dragons and made this. Blow them explosives! <laughs> Careful. Careful. Careful! Now slap them wings on there. Contessa Aorta is gonna be swooning over your badonk in no time. from the bot bay. Hmm. Not really feeling a shtick this time. Sorry if I'm being a bummer. I'm just worried about Morty. And I want to help out, but it's scary because I don't want to lose him. He's my friend. Can I be mega real? Sometimes I feel like if I don't keep moving, I'll just stop. Maybe it's a defense mechanism? Oh, whatever. It's nothing. Sorry I'm bugging you with all this sad crap. Forget it.
Beautiful. Good work, everyone. The way up to the lab is clear. Cash has better come through for us. Got a few things to take care of here. Head back to... Those vines are anchoring Sanctuary to Mount Scarab. If Cassius can make good on the antidote, that's our way up. <laughs> Hector's one smug son of a bitch. But that's only gonna make it feel that much better when we take his ass down. I found an old prototype of Angel's Chamber. We can't let that technology fall into the wrong hands. So I say we destroy it. news. I've discovered a predecessor to Angel's Chamber on Helios. Imagine what we could learn from it. <clears throat> I've already sent the Vault Hunter to destroy the chamber. Destroy it? First you deny me a plant monster army, and now this? No, I need the data from Jack's early experimentation on Angel for my Sirentology studies. And yes, that is a word I made up, but all words are made up, so. <laughs> you saw what happened to Angel, and to me. That information is too dangerous. We're going to destroy it. All of it. Keep going, Vault Hunter. The chamber should be just down there. Consider this, Lilith. The more we know about Sirens, the more we know about yourself. We still don't understand where these powers come from, or how they might manifest in the future. You of our people should see the value of that information. Hold that thought. We're not the first ones to find this place. Vault Hunter, clear out those soldiers. sent his engineers to check out the equipment. We can't let them get it. Fine. Do your worst. Just send me the data first. We cannot pass up this opportunity. <sighs> Fine. Vault Hunter, do it. Receiving the data now? <sighs> this place brings up a lot of bad memories. Even after Jack... After he tortured me. I can't imagine what Angel must have gone through. A caged bird her whole life. She could have been so much more. Mm. So much data to analyze. Oh, delicious. Now you may carry on with your smashing. Let's tear this place down. Good riddance. Unsafe angel activity detected. Executing fallen angel failsafe protocol. Ah, I will work to resolve the issue. Stay alive. Vault Hunter, you've got bots coming your way. Let's land you among the stars. How can I help today? Hi, yeah. Uh, I ordered a new IMP loader to shrink down my collection of porcelain pickles. I just wanted to get them real small. Anyway, your stupid moonshot delivery leveled my whole freaking house. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Sorry? Those pickles were irreplaceable. Plus, you know, uh, my house. Now I have to crash at my buddy Connor's place while I wait for my insurance to sort through this whole mess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was that Connor Daniels? Coordinates 33 by minus 93 in the Rust Commons? Uh, yeah? Why? Hey, what the- And lunch break! Yeah. 
guys. I heard that from here. I called it. <coughs> you were right. Moonshot worked, Mordecai. And you're looking real bad. <laughs> Excellent. That is to say, his condition is quite advanced, but not incurable. I need you to bring me a blood sample, or as we say in the scientific community, that good red stuff. Uh-uh, you ain't getting none of Morty's blood! Back up! I am a black belt master of courage! Huh? Tina, easy. <coughs> and it's definitely pronounced karate. You lucky this time, punk. Was about to karate your ass. In half! Oh man, I don't feel so great in my stamen. You have the sample? Excellent. Make your way to me and we will complete the antidote together. I gotta say, even in the darkest times, Tina's enthusiasm is pretty infectious. Uh, but maybe that's not the best word to use right now. <sighs> One lunatic trying to ruin Pandora, it's another. I'm making you my lead recruiter. And it's time to get a new crop of bandits in here. Let's try a new thing this time. My bandits gotta be strong, but also smart. Like with big old pecs, and also big old mind pecs. So let's hunt some badass sandworm queens. Why don't we try that again? This time with more sides. We gotta get these sorry bastards a cure. You know the drill by now, but get me some tougher mutant parts this time. Maybe that'll help. I know Tannis is thinking that Cassius fella is the hottest little pophead to ever do science, but I think I'm a much better match. Hmm. I should have seen Hector's betrayal coming. In my studies, I discovered that Iridian technology has strange effects on biological organisms, like the spores found in your lungs in the greater Pandoran atmosphere. Oh, what a fool I've been! I assure you, I never intended to hurt anyone. Hector told me he dreamt of a better Pandora, a paradise, he said. I shared that dream, but not like this. Oh, the cost is too great. chance to join the scrappiest, fastest growing young clan on Pandora. Survive the deadly burrows and bring me those sandworm trophies to prove yourselves worthy. Hunter came through. Again. And nobody else did. Well, come on back here, champ. Oh, 
parts for my purposes. Let's see if we can't cure their monstrosities and see if I can't find my way into Tannis's uh, uh, good graces. <laughs> Thanks for threat. This does not seem to be working out. I mean, why can't all my recruits be as strong and impervious to fall damage as you are? I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Is it me? I think it's me. You know what? Give me some time to think this through. All right then. Let's take another little whackaroni at this. Hey, help! Give this concoction a shot. <laughs> Get it? Shot? Never mind. Just do it. Guess I better quit while I'm ahead. And by that, I mean what I've still got ahead. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. No, oh, who was I kidding? Tannis ain't interested in a dummy like me. Maybe it's time I finally get the old medical license reinstated. Yes, hello? I must ask who has been discarding these utterly magnificent dead specimens? Oh, uh, well, that would be me. <laughs> Hi there, Tannis. Well, hello. Time for you to mosey on out, Bolt Hunter. I'll take it from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. As a, I had a great idea. Well, talk to us Since Hector Hector started a war, I'm mind. thinking we try our hand at a bit of a war profiteering. First, I need you to take these very Locked. special chain Stand blocks to the dog mine. Seal the mine instead of rescuing them. No bandit has set foot near there since. Bring me back something nice. Stepping foot in that mine is my red line, <laughs> Raider. Warning you now. Don't cross it. Hector and his people are totally screwing up the Pandoran economy. So let's remake that economy in my image. The chain of blocks is the basis of my new economic model. Just go with me on this. Catch a ride, you beautiful dumb bitch. <laughs> to my laboratory is just through the mine. Simply follow the turn back now signs. Well, but don't worry, the miners who were trapped inside died horribly decades ago. Boom! Curse haunted! Called it! <laughs> one moment, I will activate the elevator to the lab. Scarab 191 lost a lot of good men after Dahl left us down there to die. That's when I realized, if Pandora was gonna become our paradise, we were gonna have to make it ourselves. You won't take that from me. Now it's time for the real stroke of genius, Crypto Coin. Start mining me some of what I'm calling Beko Wafers. And while you're down there, watch out for those devious spider ants. They're creating dark webs. If you're not careful, they'll get ya. <clears throat> Death by robot!
the value of Becca wafers, which I'm totally making up, is completely off the charts. The charts are also made up. We're rich! We're filthy freaking rich! to my eye. So, bad news, Minion. I have no idea how this happened, but the value of Becco wafers has completely crashed. They're worth nothing! NOTHING! I guess I'll have to go beg Lilith for my old job back. Oh, Lilith, mighty ruler of the Crimson Raiders, I beseech you to please, please let me have my old job back. I'm sorry I abandoned you in your time of need. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, your mercifulness. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sure. As atonement for my hurtful actions, I now offer you, um, seven quintillion Becca wafers. Are we done here? No, thank you! We've really come a long way, haven't we, Minion? And you're still just as loyal as ever! Who's a good Minion? You are! Yes, you are! Well, Minion, we soared amongst the Wealth Gods themselves, but alas, your insatiable greed took us too close to the sun. Bring the blood sample to me so I can begin synthesizing the antidote. It will be nice to see another human face again. <laughs> Marvelous news! While foraging in an abandoned facility, I came across some old door miners dying of a strange illness. When I explained I was a scientist, their leader welcomed me with open arms. He was most curious about my this research into Hector biodomes. Of the doll 191st. Before I left, he Corporate asked that I inspect the house of these men. At ease while suffering, I could. Water station. Apparently, they Far survived a mining accident of some Got kind. Location of our new post today. Brass says it's a paradise. The planet's name is Pandora. Sounds nice. This is Skag Suckling Trader. You could have had a spot in paradise, but there's no room for cowards in the new pen. Let's see how long you can hold your breath. No, that maniac is releasing the gas directly into the facility. I, I can fix this. Oh, one moment. Containment failure. Emergency lockdown initiated. Okay, I, I believe we're in the clear. Most of the facility should still be safe to traverse. Make your way to me, Vault Hunter. Decontamination complete. <laughs> Just bandits with 
We're almost to Pandora. I'll miss the thrill of the fight. Tidal pool massacre on June Pass 7. Pushing back them a-holes from Scalamirte on Eden 6. But for the good of my men. <laughs> Happy bastards can't stop clamoring about paradise. Green hills, potable water, not being clawed to death. Shoot. There's an emergency console in that containment room. You can vent the remaining gas from there. Now I'm screaming. Very good. You can now proceed without being, as my main bro Vaughn would say, plant monstered up. What a sad fate that would be. Ah, yes, oh, the armed guards. <laughs> Please take care of them, Vault Hunter. Decontamination. Metal death! that I'm a one-armed jabbermont scratching my ass at the moon. The moment we step foot on this ship, Todd and all four will transfer the 191 to a mining crew beneath Mount Scarab. Not paradise. We'll make do. The boys are about ready to start a war with their own, but I told them, the mining is better than dying. Which I believe that. <laughs> Getting closer. Ah, the thrill of scientific progress. Stimulating, isn't it? You know, when this is all over, I think I might take your scientist up on her lascivious offers. <laughs> I've always found it odd that this planet's soil lacks the essential building blocks for mature flora. Yet, while the land itself resists growth from desert to tundra, I've discovered a way forward. Upon careful observation, the same spores that fill these men's lungs can be found in the greater Pandoran atmosphere. Take a deep breath, Cassius. Measure twice. Change the world once. Tide's turning. Finally some luck. One of my boys found a shiny alien trinket, showed it to the brass. They promised us all promotions and big plots of land. I went back and told the men they couldn't contain themselves. Why, well, we cracked open some rations and had ourselves a good... This is where we die. There was a cave-in a couple of days ago. Boys still think a rescue's coming. Didn't have the heart to tell him that cave-in was no accident. A few boys went rabbit already, had to be put down. One I'm the only down. thing keeping the 191 together. Those sackless piss rugs broke their promise. One moment. <coughs> I'll let you in. Cassius, you book-reading son of a bitch. Your services are no longer needed. Stand down. I'm in the emergency containment room. <laughs> Fear not, I absolutely escaped the effects of the gas, and I can assure you I am using absolutely quite disingenuously. That is where you will deposit your friend's blood sample. <laughs> now, scan the sample. <laughs> the antidote will cause his spores to enter a remissive state. <laughs> it will also provide you immunity to the gas. Scanning biosignature. Oh, drat! <laughs> Your friend's blood was compromised by the decontamination chamber. <laughs> I can fix this. Oh, I can fix this! It's no good. We will need another sample. There's no time for anything else. Open the emergency containment room. I'd hope to use the antidote on myself, but we need infected the blood. With the first so law. instead, I must make one final request. Kill me! Out of the way! Five.
If you're hearing this, I am gone, but I have left oddly prescient instructions for synthesizing the antidote. First, collect my blood. Yes, yes. Now to the aptly named antidote machine. Quickly! Don't screw with a girl and a robot! Now that's amazing. Biosignature. That antidote will save your friend. It will also provide you immunity to the gas, just to be entirely clear. I love that sound. That man's blood is as titillating as his mind. I will begin synthesizing oh. the antidote immediately, and then Cassius will be inside all of us. You did it, killer. Mordecai's gonna live. Yeah. Now, let's take back our home. Sanctuary is still tethered to the facility. See you up top. Wouldn't celebrate just yet, Raiders. The gas is ready. Paradise is coming. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You must stop Hector. I never thought I'd say this, but Pandora is fine the way it is. Find Hector. I'm on my way. Enjoy your last breaths, Raiders. I can feel the roots of Paradise taking hold. Tracking you, VH. Looks like you're in the bowels of Sanctuary. Get ready for a right powerful stink. Better hurry. Sanctuary's spewing spores like a toddler on a bender. Ain't condoning it, but I see. I'm glad Scooter's not around to see Sanctuary like this. That overblown gas man had to find up her engine, so help me, I'm gonna smother him to death under a single tent. You just ain't good enough. seven years before something like that. Fine freaks in my armory. That's it. I'm not selling his soldiers any more weapons. I made sure of that. Lovely. Farewell, friend. Terminated! I can dig the vine decor, but the last thing my bar needs is a bunch of mindless freaks who can't keep their tentacles to themselves. Unless they're willing to pay for it. Whoa! 
up, you fine. You are a mean machine. We were so close. Well, hello there. You did it. Now grab the vault key. We have to get out of here. I'll contain the infection. Get me some iridium. There's a big cache nearby. Don't get shot. I'm tired. You're not welcome in my new world. I know just where to shoot you. Where's your medic? Oh my, what a view. Let's go a little higher. Raiders will turn to mulch. You just ain't good enough, Raider. Did you miss me? Wait, it is you to me? No, no, no. I shake You've lost. This ship is mine. The key is mine. Pet. Sorry about this, killer. It's the only way. Trust me. You finally stood your ground, Firehawk. But it's too late. I'm not leaving here without that map! You Vault Hunters are so blind. I have seen the true purpose of the map. It leads to power you can't possibly imagine. What the hell? Sanctuary is part of me now. The Vault map is part of me. You can't destroy me without losing them both. Your dream dies with me. What? What do you think you're doing? Making the call. No! Okay? Yeah. It's gone. Lilith! That was awesome! Yeah! <laughs> Is the freaky tree man dead? Hey, Roland would have done the same thing. Worth it! Holy crap, I'm so jealous I wanted to blow up that shit forever! I'm cool, I'm cool. I calculated that there was an 86.4% chance that Sanctuary would have exploded as soon as it reached escape velocity. Perhaps I should have shared that with you sooner? Sanctuary, the map, everything's gone. Hey, you made the call. We're all still here, nothing else matters. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, uh, what now? Up there, Hector showed me the map. I saw the vaults, connected somehow, part of something bigger. I don't know what it means. Look, we may have lost the map, but we never needed it before. We have to find the vaults before they fall into the wrong hands. We have got to keep searching. And that means leaving Pandora. But I can't go with you. Not yet. Someone has to rebuild the raiders. We need new blood. New badasses, if we're gonna be ready for the next fight. Find the vaults. No matter how far it takes you, no matter what happens, you will always be Crimson Raiders! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, old Sanctuary went out in a way that would have made Scooter happy. Killing a big ass tree! That was a nice speech back there, Lil. Really tugged at the old heartstrings. 
But why is it that you're really staying here? That vault map's still out there, Ellie. And when I find it, then I can leave Pandora. I'm a hold you to that, String Bane. When New Pandora kicked us out of Helios, we lost track of Butt Stallion. So I'm hiring you and the most elite team of professionals money can buy to make sure she's okay. Two words, my friend. No refunds. When me and the Hellions posted up in Helios, we kind of adopted Butt Stallion as our unofficial mascot. Even though she was still stuck in that depressive stasis she's been in since Jack died, we took care of her the best we could. Hector's people took her away as soon as they showed up. They must be planning to sell her. I mean, she's worth her weight in diamonds because she's, you know, literally made of diamonds, bro. Tina, sit your little ass down. Mordecai's just trying to keep you safe. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous in there. Shut up, you're not my real mom! Besides, Tina good. Tina can handle her own self just dandy fine. Now I bid you sayonara! Tina, wait! Stay with Brick! Hey, Slab. That could have gone better. It's still sort of working out the kinks, you know? Yeah? Anyway... Let's go save that majestic, beautiful butt stallion! Hell yeah! Hold on, her. please make I sure Tina to stays safe. Nope. Without a bomb, Tomodachi. Now stand back! Then shoot the bomb. It's a go boomity boom. Yes, yes, yes! But Stallion, your magnificent majesty! But Stallion proximity sensor violation. Commencing Silver Steed defense protocol. Cover me! Through the power of love, I shall reawaken the beast! Just call me the butt. 
Just the most beautifulest thing you ever saw. I just want to squeeze her so hard she blows up. No, 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 no sweetie girl. Not for real, Z's. You're good. You're real, real good. Yes, you is. Good work, Slab. I'm glad we could help. Shut up, Morty Mom. Tina, what the hell? Hey, don't talk to your mother like that. You're not helping. That's it. Everyone, get out of my room. That is it, your room! I said out! Vale, vale, tranquilo, por favor! Jeez! You heard it, Vault Hunter! <laughs> Woo! You guys did great! Now, I know Lilith leads, like, the A-Team Crimson Raiders or whatever, but you guys made a great... B-Team? Yes! The B is for bootylicious! <laughs> Whatever! Anyway, thanks for saving Butt Stallion. I got a real soft spot for the old girl, you know? But I'm real busy with bandit stuff and, you know, saving the world. So, Tina, could you take care of her for me? Yes, 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 thank you! Well, that's settled, I guess. Thanks again, Vault Hunter. Sanctuary's gone! Seriously, I owe a lot of people a lot of money. Bummer about Sanctuary. Had to be done, though. Yo, Slap. Need help getting a present for my boy Mordecai. You took Hector out, which is great. But his special forces are still hanging around. Take him out and grab some rifle parts for me. Then I'll whip up something special for Morty. Well, go get him, Slap. Heard that's where Lieutenant Bolson is hiding out. That son of a bitch is back. New Pandora is more than one man. We fight on. Burn down a whole village. <laughs> That's Lieutenant Angbar's hideout. He was Hector's right-hand man and needs to get dead. Jomo alegato, suckers! Hector may be dead, but his dream lives on!
Lieutenant Tetra was last seen somewhere in Helios. That guy would start a pandemic. You're nothing but a bunch of raiders! Winning a fight. Go! I am the greatest engineer of life! He's a wicked shot shooter, so watch your ass! Frag him, babe! We are united against you! Make some fine ass weaponry. Give me a sec. There we go. Now come on, Slab. Go give that rifle to Mordecai. Wait, is this for me? What's this all about, Vault Hunter? It's for your anniversary of getting sober, Morty. I'm proud of you. Had to get you something to mark the occasion. Oh, thanks, man. You remember? Couldn't have done it without talent here. Makes me want to be like a better guy, you know? That's right, Miho. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, thanks, Brick. You're my best non bird friend. No one's ever said that to me before. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you too, hermano. Thanks for the help, Slab. That was some important stuff right there. And hey, turns out I had some extra parts. So I made you a rifle too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta attend to my community garden project. <laughs> I can't believe Cassius is dead. Rest in peace, science bro. Rest in peace. Hey, Vault Hunter. Got one more favor to ask. I need some advice on how to be the best bandit king I can be. Let's see if anyone has some words of wisdom for me. Maybe start with Moxie? She's got a lot of experience with bandit clans. Moxie, my girl! <laughs> you got any advice for me on running a bandit clan? Sure, hon. The most important thing is knowing when to sweet talk and when to slash someone ear to ear without blinking. Well, that went dark fast. Um, so, be a sadistic psychopath. Got it. Well, this has been... a thing. Thank you. Anytime, sugar. Why don't you come on by later and have a drink on Moxie? Yeah! <laughs> sure, <laughs> definitely we'll do that. Um, oh, girl... Well, that was interesting and less than helpful. Maybe Ellie has some advice for me. Ellie, how's it hanging? Banging bodacious and sexy as all hell, as per usual. Oh, Ellie, you are just delightful. Don't I know it? 
Never get tired of hearing it from a chiseled little man like yourself, though. Oh, wank. Did you just wink at me over Echo? <laughs> okay, anyway, you spent some time in a bandit clan, right? What kind of advice would you give an aspiring bandit king? Only thing bandits respect is bullets and killing. And it always helps if you're devastatingly good looking, which you is. Oh, wank. Cool, yeah, you, you winked again on the thing. Well, I'm gonna call it at that. Thanks, Ellie. Anytime, you hard body little snuggle muffin. Being a bandit, it's about freedom. I mean, sure, it's a war zone out there, but it's, it's not all about the killing, is it? Brick leads the slabs, right? Maybe he can help. <laughs> so-and-so. You've had a lot of experience running a bandit clan, as it were. Care to share some words of wisdom? Hell yeah. We got a sin in the slabs. Might even call it our guiding principle. Punch stuff real hard. Uh-huh. Um, anything, uh, anything else, or...? Nope. That's it. Okay, good talk. Blood ball on Wednesday? Yep. Not the most useful advice I've ever received, but I guess he's got a point. Hmm. Didn't Marcus have, like, a bandit called once? Maybe he's got something for me. Hey, Marcus, Penny for your thoughts on leading a bandit clan? Well, I've never turned down a penny. So, yes, I accidentally became the object of a cult worship once upon a time. And it was pretty great. <laughs> they give me money and guns and everything. But... The best part was, they always died soon after. So I didn't owe them anything. <laughs> the lesson here is, it's fine for everyone to die, as long as it's profitable. Yeah, money. Money's good. Bye. Well, this has all been really terrible advice. Uh, and I know we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel on this one, but... Uh, let's see if Claptrap has anything to say. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this, but, uh, hey, Claptrap, so you've been on Pandora a long time. Got any advice for a new bandit leader? Do I? Do I? No. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I was expecting some kind of rambling, nonsensical monologue. In that case, you've come to the right place. There it is. Bandits are superstitious idiots. I would advise you to acquire godlike powers. Legends tell of a secret coven of witches living deep beneath the... Nope, we're done here. Wait, you didn't let me finish. All you need to do is bring 17 lapis lazuli stones, three scalps of your enemies, and... Nope, 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 and nope. Bye, Claptrap. Aww. I think the real lesson here... You gotta find your own bandit truth. You know, maybe what I need is a, is a self-initiation, right? Time to figure out who Vaughn really is. Oh, oh, I love this, a Pandoran walkabout. Oh, but wait, I can't go on a walkabout without my artifact of power. Ugh, I lost it in Helios when we got kicked out. Could you grab it for me? Okay, now find my old living quarters and poke around for the artifact. This artifact was the source of all my power. That must be why my initiations went so poorly. Of course! make preparations for my journey. I'm gonna find myself out in that wasteland. My true self. My bandit king self. With my Hyperion Red Bar X2000s, I'm going places. Wish me luck with, you know, not dying in the most horrible ways imaginable by the darkest recesses of the human mind. Salutations once again. Welcome to Wombomb Island, Pandora's number one vacation resort. After Lilith and the others arrive, our Fertility Day Festival can begin. Come find me, will you? Hey, you killer. Go ahead and get the fertility fest started without us. 
Brick's still packing, and Mordecai's trying to shove his bird back into its cage. <laughs> Talon! Talon! You get in the cage, I'll feed you a skag head, eh? Where's my tuxedo t-shirt? It's a t-shirt, but it looks like a tuxedo. I wear it for slow dancing. Vault Hunter, I'll get back to you. Well met! I've distilled some homemade liqueur. We shall party until the break of dawn, as they say. Let me get the door for you. I initially came to the Hedonic Isles to find some rare beasties using Varkid tracking. Say, did you know that this island is set to house a former enemy of Brick Mordecai and Lilith? It's enough to... Oh dear! Uh, guys? Something just took Hammerlock. So, I can stop packing, then. Mordecai, any ideas? Uh, maybe. Look around. Did Hammerlock leave anything behind? Anything with his scent on it? Bunch of Hammerlock's booze is here. Perfect. All right, you gotta get that booze to a Varkid egg. First, find an injector. Good. Now inject Hammerlock's booze into a Varkid pod, and it'll track the scent for you. Using a Varkid to track smells? You sure that'll work? No question. Blood did it, and I'm teaching talent now. In a couple weeks, he'll be able to track you and Lil anywhere. Wait, you're teaching talent to track us? Yeah. Borrow some of your old shirts you don't use anymore, tear them up, give them to the talent so he can track the scent. Like Brick's weird tuxedo t-shirt thing. That was my dressy clothes! All right, now inject some of Hammerlock's booze into the egg. When it hatches, it'll lead you right to Hammerlock. Damn! Just born and already blitzed out of its mind. That Varkid's living the dream. Make sure to follow it. See where it leads you. Oh, I haven't seen Talon since his feathers grew in. Oh my god, he is so cute! He's not cute, he's a badass. Oh yeah, be gentle. <laughs> I think he likes you. Aw, are you sure? Because he is biting pretty hard. Ow, 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 ow! Ooh, he's drawing blood. Oh crap, I'll get him off. No, he's too cute. Ow. <laughs> I love him. Damn, girl, you weird as hell. It appears I'm being dragged through a series of tunnels by some monstrously large beast. A rescue would be appreciated, but sadly isn't mandatory. Circle of life, all that. I think you injected him with too much hammerlock juice. Probably why he went crazy. Might want to go a little easier on the dosage next time. You gotta find another Varkid and inject him with some more of Hammerlock's set. Just follow that thing and it ought to lead you to Hammerlock. Alright, you ugly sucker. Take me to the stuffing one. Looks like it crawled into that tunnel thing. See if you can find a way to follow him. That's definitely a transit tunnel, but it's powered down. Maybe check out the water wheel they got. If you get that running, it'll turn on the power. <laughs> hey, guys, where's Mordecai's rack ale? I can't find... I threw him out. <laughs> what? You quit drinking. <laughs> yeah, can't raise talent while I'm half in the bag, you know? Aw, that is so cute. You put the need of little Talon before your ow! He's biting me again. Ow, 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 ow! Talon, bad! What you want, buttheads? Eat a beer bottle! <laughs> if you want access to Crazy Earl's Crazy Water Wheel, you better wet my beak and deal with some pirates that have been saying me crap to me. That one insulted my mustache. Nobody insults Crazy Earl's Crazy Mustache. Them pirates started talking smack after I tried to cuddle with one. Well, whatever. Crazy Earl's all about cuddling.
that's enough. Get your old stinky ass back here and I'll let you into the crazy water wheel. There, the water wheel's open. Now, get out of here, hon. Don't never come back. <laughs> Sounds like that powered up the transit tunnel. Just head through there and you should be able to reach your booze-sniffing Varkid on the other island. I just realized, you ever watch those like animated Echo Ooh, series about dudes with swords? Pretty. They always eventually do an episode where they just Dummy. go to the beach and hang out. No. This is like our beach this, party I've episode. Been tied up isn't, by that, the psycho isn't that cool? Of the Isles. No. You won't believe no, it, it but not. I'm to be sacrificed. All oh, right, you never met Cromorax. He was a big ass crab worm we fought after Yankee General Knox. Man, we killed him so many times. <sighs> the memories. If you wouldn't mind hurrying, Volt Hunter, I believe these savages are attempting to summon the son of Cromorax as I speak. Hey, man, don't call me a savage. Oh. You speak English. I thought so. I graduated from Eden Four Megaversity with honors. Check your privilege, dick. Looks like your dosage might have still been too high. I don't know. Honestly, just making this part up as I go. All right, Varkid should be somewhere on this island. Just find it, and it'll lead you to whatever the hell took Hammerlock. <laughs> Another way across. Yo mo le gato, suckers! Yeah! Look at Winnie! Let us down! Don't screw with a girl and a robot! Betesashi! Mo betesashi! hasn't harmed me. May I have some more of vengeance on the Volt Hunters who killed its father. Well, the resort owners just quarantined the island, so he'll have to settle for dying at the hands of a totally new group of Vault Hunters. Crap! The conditioning wore off! Kill the Varkid! It's no good as a bloodhound anymore! Hey, guys. Remember that ledge in Cromorax's lair? Oh man, the ledge. Yeah, we could shoot him from there, but he couldn't hit us. Mm, so good. So good. Ah, oh, lessons. Hi-ho! Seems I'm to be sacrificed to this beast. Could you look down below for some sort of crank, mayhaps? Something to lower me to the ground? How gorgeous! Look upon the majesty of the son of Koromorax! Ah, perhaps you should deal with this beastie before you tend to me. Nice! That's my slab! That was awesome! Wasn't that awesome, Talon? That's a good boy. It appears the sins of the crab-like father were quite viciously visited upon his crab-like son. Please save me when you're ready. Oh, dear. Oh. Hey, 
Lovely. Thanks for that bit of life savesmanship. Though I must admit, being restrained in that particular way was not entirely outside the scope of things I find enjoyable. Hot. <laughs> There's nothing quite like witnessing a majestic miracle of nature be blown into tiny little bits by one such as yourself. Hello, mercenary person. Hi-ho! For your next quest, I require... Shut up! This is Sparky Flint, son of Captain Flint, and I have summoned six people you vault hunters have wronged. Together, we will have our revenge! Now, please find the first assassin somewhere on the island so that we may have our revenge. The Hyperion Corporation reminds you that all spawn campers will be permanently banned from this plane of existence. <laughs> Mr. Axton, do you remember Sergeant Charter? Because he remembers you. How you deserted your post and went AWOL. He's ready to face all you vault hunters. Don't keep him waiting! Soldier. Look, whatever. I've got five more people here looking forward to killing you, jackasses. My support group, Victims of Vault Hunters, booked a conference here the same weekend you did. And we're all just aching to get back at you jerkwads. Just do me a favor and find the next guy who's gonna kill you because he's not responding to my messages. The natives are muttering something about a warrior from the sky near their village. Perhaps you should investigate. Her uncle Grill certainly does. He's here to avenge his niece in the most violent way possible. So, you know, be ready for that. Ah, yes, I've seen one of these totems before. You'll need to offer a sacrifice to get past it. I recommend a mask from one of their witch doctors. I'm sure those jacks wouldn't mind loaning you one. What the? Did he fall from the sky? Did his transit shuttle malfunction or what the hell? Ha! Suck it, Holloway family! Even if your hitman hadn't fallen out of the sky for some weird ass reason, I would have taken him out anyway. I killed handsome freaking Jack! You think one little assassin can take me down? Booyah! Also, sorry I killed your daughter. Man, who the hell is killing all of my would-be assassins? Whatever, I got more. Go meet the next one! I'm hearing echo death reports that someone's feeling ill at the local watering hole. Maya, you'll like this next dude. He's a siren tracker named Mordo Sophis. Father of brother Steven Sophis. That dude you ganked back on Athena's. And boy oh boy is he just itching for vengeance. Unfortunately, the regular path is closed for repairs. You'll have to find an alternate route. Perhaps the machinery surrounding the water wheel could give you a boost? You got poisoned? What? Somebody is going around killing all the people I wanted to kill you, and that makes me very upset. Huh. huh. That's my point. Don't seem like that. <laughs> Whatever, I got three more VOVH members, victims of Vault Hunters, still itching to kill you. Find the next one! <laughs> the next guy you're looking for is named Blendo, and he wants to kill Salvador in order to avenge, uh... uh everyone, you killed his entire bandit clan, Sally, all 150 of them. Hanged? What? Who did? Who would? So angry! <laughs> Should somebody cut him down or? No? All right. Whatever. Two assassins left, but they're probably dead as hell. <laughs> Next guy is probably freaking dead already. Is a Hyperion scientist named Clements. He wants Krieg because you killed some dudes when you escaped or something. I don't even care at this point. Yeah. Great. Figures. This guy. 
I got one assassin left, Jagoffs. Just go find his corpse already. So yeah, I got no idea what's going on with this last guy. I think he wants zero dead, but I didn't really understand anything he said. Surprising no one, he's dead too. I swear I am gonna figure out who did this. <laughs> That's weird. Whatever, I'm done getting chumps to do my dirty work. You find me, and I'll kill you myself for what you did to my dad. <laughs> my dad was an asshole, but that doesn't mean you had to kill him. Now die! Get oh. on oh. back, everyone. I've just received six text messages over the echo net, each addressed to one of you fine vault hunters. I imagine you'll want to hear them. Oddly, these messages lead me to believe that the deaths of those six would-be assassins were bizarre coincidences acted upon by six separate allies of yours. Here, this message was addressed to you. Hey there, Vault Hunter. I'm nearby. Find me. Remember, we're always open. Oh, how sweet. Love is in the air. Oh, that's, uh, that's probably not an omen or anything. Over here, sweetness. Ellie and I have waged war on the Zafford and Hodunk bandit clans for years now, but it's time for peace. Let's go talk to the preacher I hired. Where is he? Oh, there he is. What a rough landing. Thankfully, I like it rough. Tell him my plan, Innuendo Bot. Two star-crossed lovers, one from each clan, wish to be married. We will ensure their pairing and bring peace to both clans. My hat looks like a penis. Uh, noted. Anyway, Walter, the lovers are nearby. Follow me. I need you to protect the bride and groom so this wedding goes off without a hitch. If we do this right, we'll end the clan war for good. Making a mistake. If the clans unite, they'll just get even more powerful and take us all out. You gotta kill them. Violence won't solve this, L. We tried your explosive climax, but now it's time for my gentler touch. Oh, the storm stopped. How about that? Maybe love really is in the air. Good luck. <laughs> my energy to knock the tar out of Colin! Oh, great. I guess there's trouble in paradise, but we still need him to get married if the clans are gonna end the war. You can always just kill him! Thankfully, I know an old love potion recipe. We'll need something new, something old, something borrowed, and something gold. Ooh, I just found something that'll take care of half of them ingredients! Vault Hunter head to these coordinates. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> um, is that a baby? All right, real talk. Babies are new, right? And he's not yours. So if you take him for a little while, he's borrowed. Huh? Huh? You're suggesting we throw a stolen baby into a potion. What? No, we ain't gonna hurt him. Just kidnap him. They are vault him after taking sweet baby child Get him! Sounds like the hood has got angry. Better take him out. Come on. 
us. Kill the hostile villagers who are trying to protect the baby you just stole. Hey! Borrowed. Never should have come here! My words will ring in your ears for miles. All right, that's done. What else does this potion need again? Something old. You know, there might be some aged whiskey in the distillery, Vault Hunter. Head there now. Looks like the distillery shut up tighter than an abstinence advocate at an orgy. But one of those poor slave bots got locked out too. Maybe talk to him? Woe is me. My beloved girlfriend bot slaves away inside the distillery, and I cannot save her due to my pre-programmed self-esteem issues. That loader should be strong enough to bust open the doors. Why don't you give him some words of encouragement? Honestly, if she didn't follow you out here, maybe she doesn't want to be with you. That said, I need to get inside, so you should totally save her or whatever. You know what? You're right. Let's go save my girlfriend. Engaging chivalry protocols. Why do you ride in this toe? Stella, I'm coming. Stand. Just look at it. I'm coming, Stella. No, 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 monster! Kill, 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 kill. Just hold on, Stella! Your rescue bot is on his way! <laughs> I need to build you an extra arm just for high five! Stella, I've noticed that beautiful blonde hair anywhere. That's a lot of whiskey. You've got to find the high quality old stuff. You'd better put your lips around a few until you find the right barrel. <coughs> Jeez, that's awful. Oh, that didn't sound good. Let's try another. Considering the drinking age here is probably like birth, I guess it's okay to drink this stuff. If you can still see straight, you haven't found the good stuff. Keep sipping. Woo! <coughs> that's. that's the stuff. Mmm, that's the stuff. Grab some of that whiskey and we'll get to the next ingredient. Alright, we've got new, old, and borrowed. You'll need to find some gold. There's gotta be some around here. The Zaffords are as greedy as they come. Huh. Dead end. You'll have to find a way through. Allow me, Vault Hunter. It's the least I can... There. Your nearest stash of gold coins. Grab a few and we'll have everything we need for the potion. Also, the Zaffords are real protective of their cash. The gold's probably booby-trapped or something. right there. First, add the gold. Looking good. Now, the whiskey for something old. Now to 
still seeing the baby. Ellie, I'm kidding. Don't toss the baby. Just hold it over the mixer and make it cry. <laughs> Uh, country music exists. The baby's crying. Seriously? This right here? This is not something good guys do. Yellow! Never say that again. Sounds like the love potion's mixing as we speak. Hey, with all this talk of marriage, I'm curious. Was there ever a Mr. or Mrs. Vault Hunter in your life? Nah, the boys at school thought I was too nerdy. But if Hammerlock ever switches sides, hmm, I am going to lock that down. That's looking lovely. Now, just turn on the machinery to distill it. Looks like the potion's done. Grab it. <laughs> All right, better deliver that silly ass potion and do the dumb marriage. And give the baby back. Yeah, and whatever. Do the thing. <laughs> Wait, what's the whole recipe again? Something new, something old, something borrowed, and something gold. I'm pretty sure that's it. You sure? Ain't it something blue? What? Blue doesn't rhyme with gold. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you. We've moved the wedding into the fresh air. Just put the potion in the punch bowl and we'll get started. If you hadn't let me knock you up, we wouldn't be in this situation. You came. How wonderful. The bride and groom quiver with anticipation. Um... Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to... Screw all of ya! You matchmaking scrubs can all go right to hell, especially that traitorous dumbass bag of boobs, Moxie! Son of a... No, we're here for peace. Just put the potion into the ceremonial punch bowl. I ain't gonna drink that! Of course you wouldn't, you coward! The hell I am! Ha! Who's yelling now? I ain't letting no whole dunk princess out drink me! Hell no! What? Oh, oh. Say, you look pretty good all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm all flustered. <laughs> Oh, we can't kiss with these helmets on. Yeah, let's take them off. Love ain't no fun with protection. <laughs> no, 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 I couldn't have messed that up worse. The bride and groom are dead. The clans are still at war. And I kind of shot our whole let's start acting like good guys plan in the foot. Told you the recipe called for something blue. <laughs> you killed the newlyweds! You monsters! You're bleeding right. From here on out, the Zaffir clan declares a blood war on Moxie and the Vault Hunters. And the whole dumps are with you! <laughs> Oh, hey, I guess we did sort of unite the clans, even if it's just so they can kill us. I, uh, I'll call that a win. Trying really hard to find a moral to the story other than violence is good, but, uh, it's not, it's not coming. Sexy things are overrated. It is time for love. You will collect romantic gifts while I put words of romance into an echo recorder. First, fetch me a cigar. The Hodunk bridesmaids may have some. <laughs> Lo 
once Moxie programmed me to speak only in double entendre. Now I have learned to speak from my that heart. Shiftless world hood is stealing all smokes! Yeah. Marcy's dead. <laughs> Confession. When I look at Moxie, I feel a sharp pain in my hypothetical stomach. Though she is my mother, I feel an intense love for her. Is this normal? Not really. Hi, you guys. Quick favor. Could I have that wig? Oh, I'm sorry, but this wig is wired into my friend or foe subroutine. If I were to remove it, I'd go insane and probably die. Yeah, I need that wig for a quest. So. Adequately done. Now find the final romantic gift, Grease. The Zafford groomsmen have stockpiled some for a wedding night rite of passage. Love is the glue which holds existence together. Oh, I see what's going on. Innuendo Bot nabbed a few romantic comedy vids off the Echo Net. They may have scrambled his AI. Ooh, hydrophobic polygreen. <laughs> Slathered this stuff on my robot arm like it was sunscreen. Stop him! They've got the secret man grease! This grease will come in handy, er, error, er, error. Return to me so that I may create the romantic gift bundles. I am in the mood for love. Give a romance bundle to some prospective soulmates. First, hold up, come, I don't care. I will neg the first subject. Prepare yourself for a compliment forward slash insult the world has never seen. You are pretty, but your hair looks like a drowning burn victim. Wear this wig and love me forever. Um, no. Acknowledged. Take the second valentine to Zaffer, comma, Nathaniel Lynn, and we will woo him with pure bluntness. is a cigar, the universal sign for Freudian lust. Marry me immediately. Ah, I'm good. Understood. We must now attempt the nuclear option. Bring the last valentine to Moxie, that I may pour out my heart and soul to her. Moxie, my love for you keeps my gears turning, just as sure as that can of smelly grease. Marry me. Vault Hunter, go kill Innuendo Bot. But why? I thought love was like a shield bar to be whittled down by the bullets of persistence. No, that's called stuck. I am sorry. I know now that love cannot be forced. Complete your mission and end my heartbroken existence, Vault Hunter. Oh, maybe leave him alone. Sounds like he's learned his lesson. Famed sadness dot exe successful. Never mind, waste him. <laughs> well, that's that. I'll chunk his AI core and reprogram it from scratch. Come on back, Vault Hunter. That's the last time I let him watch romantic comedies. Welcome to the gauntlet. Please follow the smell of vomit and tears so we may talk face to face. As the vomit was mine, I recommend facing away from me. If you could stand still for a moment, I'll walk. This gate represents a test of your intellect. Are you clever enough to uncover the secret way to open it? 
Congratulations, you are now a genius by Pandoran standards. Exceptional. Using a mixture of Iridium, Digistruct technology, and Scooter's salami-stained fingers, try not to read into that, I've put together the combat trials you see before you. If you succeed, you'll be ready for a new Pandora, a Pandora of overpowered enemies, better loot, and an abundance of nacho cheese. It's been an eventful year. Anyway, off with you. Should you die in this gauntlet, I will take it as implicit feedback that I should consider making it easier. I will ignore this, of course. Mass murder can often command. be a form of quality control. Attaboy! each other's metaphorical jerks over who gets to hunt the sudden abundance of vaults, Lilith and I created this training gauntlet for the Crimson Raiders. You will help me test its relative lethality so that I may not inadvertently turn half of Sanctuary's fighting force into a gaggle of whimpering triple amputees. <laughs> Colleagues get eaten alive by a horde of these. Sometimes I replay the memories in my mind whilst eating popcorn and staring absently into the middle distance. Suck on that! Here's something new. A Hyperion abomination brainstormed by Scooter and Ellie. Part spider tank, part war loader. These metal behemoths embody my two biggest fears, which don't involve French kissing. Oh!
is either full of great loot or full of crap. If you get nothing but white shields, blame Schrodinger and his zombie cat. Having survived the gauntlet, you're ready to take on the overpowered enemies. You may still die, of course, but now I'll at least do you the courtesy of being surprised. I may have just lied to you. Welcome to the Torn Corporation's Hunger for Violence Extravaganza! Tonight, we're gonna watch the Vault Hunter take on the ravenous Waddle Gobbler! Nice to meet you. Deadly poison! Head to the stabber jabber nests! 
I ran out of explosives, so I'm actually going to open this door remotely without blowing it up! Psych! You know you're following an idiot, yes? Torg created his explosive gun tech, then sold it to us for $12 and a high five. We kept him on purely for PR reasons. But you both outlived your usefulness. Tribute, kill! Crap! Badass! Ah! Lost my shit! When God closes a door, I blow it the f up! Hey, make sure to get a slag weapon on the way! Smack the jabber nest to wake him up! Numbers, numbers, math, math, math. Uh. Alright! Now slag the jabber! Kill it before the slag wears off! Tannis told me a single slag chap keep grabbing glands! I want the monster full of poison because poisonous spicy and spicy food is like an explosion before your mouth! Woo! You got all the glands! Now pop them into the gobbler's dinner and you'll be ready to fight them! Why do you insist on being a moron, Torg? This is why you lost a controlling share of your own company. I knew I should have killed you when I had the chance. Now add the poison glands to the marination vat! Hit that button to marinate the f out of that meal! <coughs> Meal's almost ready. Let's get cooking. Start the conveyor of cookery. Robot, attack mode. You've gone off script one too many times, Torg. Today's meal is canceled. Chefs, shut down that oven. We can't stop now! Protect the oven! I swear by my abdominal muscles, I will eat the ravenous waddle gobbler! You are a mean machine! Torg will pay for your idiocy. 
Here comes the ravenous Waddle Gobbler! We've replaced this creature's normal food with poison! Let's see if he notices! He took the bait! Now just don't die until the poison takes effect! Kick him in the kitchen! Waddle Gobbler! Shoot the gobbler! Shoot the vault hunter! The poison's working! It's working! The gobbler Robot is killable! One, Let the zero. taste apocalypse begin! This is your last chance, Torque. Call this off. The vault hunter wins! afford the finer things in life, like food, but we got by. After all, Mr. Torg and I didn't have anything but one another after that horrible gas leak blew up the iridium mine, killing my son and his lovely wife. From that day onward, my little Mr. Torg vowed to conquer explosions themselves in an effort to avenge his fallen parents, and... Ah oh man, I forgot what I was talking about. Where was... All right, the blowhole, the apocalypse! So anyway, I was wrestling blowhole to the ground, and I have my bicep curled around his blueberry throat. Blueberry? Sorry, I meant to say blubbery. I've got blueberries on the brain, I guess. I grow them in my backyard. Mr. Torg helped me plant them. Thanks again for that, grandson. I love you, Grandma! Anyway, I have my bicep around his blubbery throat, and Mr. Torg starts crying because he really likes whale squids, and he doesn't want to see me hurt one. They are the princes of the ocean! So I let the whale go after giving it a punch in the eyeball so he'll remember me, and it swam away into the ocean. And then I had Mr. Torg drive me to the ice cream parlor. He got me Rocky Road, because Rocky Road's my favorite. I'm extremely partial to the way the marshmallows act like little landmines of flavor amidst the battleground of chocolate. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Is it pistachio? I bet it's pistachio. Oh, that reminds me! You'll never guess who I saw today! Pistachio the Amazing! He's a magician who studied under Crazy Earl, so he's got that weird mustache, you know, but I saw him make a rack hive disappear. A whole rack hive! I said to Mr. Torg, I said, Mr. Torg, wasn't that amazing? And he said, yes, it was, Grandma. Didn't you say that, High Five? You remember saying that? I remember, Grandma! And we stood in line afterward and got his autograph, and I thought I had it somewhere around here, but it's probably in the attic. I really ought to go up there and clean it out one of these days. I have so many little keepsakes up there. Are you... You're paying attention, right? Say, what's my favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, so you are listening. How wonderful. You're an even better listener than my old pet rack, Bisto. Bisto was such a sweetie. You ever had a pet rack? If you can tame them, they are the sweetest pet you'll ever have. He used to just sit on my shoulder and bite chunks of flesh out of my neck to pass the time. I still remember the way he used to tweet. He went, tweet, tweet. <laughs> it was so cute. I had a conversation with him once. I said, Mr. Beast, he liked being called Mr. Beast, though. It made him feel like an aristocrat. I said, Mr. Beast, you're looking very cute today. And he said, 
Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Or he tweeted in a way that made me know that's how he felt. And then he lowered his little head like he was taking a bow. It was adorable. Beastle was my third pet rack. First I had Woody, he got hit by a train. Then I had Anita, she got shot up trying to take vengeance on the train that killed Woody. And then I found Beasto making little poops on the windmill outside our house. After Mr. Torg and I wrestled her to the ground, I did a flying pile driver off a nearby tower tree, got him straight in the spine and brought him down. We brought him in and fed him some skag steaks until he decided he loved us. I still miss Beasto sometimes. He just died Third of old place. age. Racked to live much longer than a few place. years. I built a robot. I treasured the time we had to together. The push of a button. Oh, and Doc, what's his face? When Beast so died, he cried for a week. Fair. The we kids made fun of him in school, but I told him not to pay them any mind. Being in touch with your emotions is not a character flaw! That's right, High Five. Is something wrong? You look confused, Vault Hunter. Oh, you probably haven't heard anyone call Mr. Torg High Five before. The world may know him as Mr. Torg, but the Flexingtons always refer to him using his middle name. It's a Flexington family tradition, after all, to use your grandfather or grandmother's name as your own middle name. And my husband, High Five Flexington, God rest his soul, was the best grandfather Mr. Torg could have asked for before he passed. He taught Mr. Torg dang near everything he knew about firearms. Without High Five's teachings, I don't think the Torg Corporation would exist at all. Gosh. I still remember the first gun Mr. Torg tried to make after his parents died. A Jacob shotgun with a stick of dynamite attached to the barrel. Torg nearly blew his face off, but he got up, dusted his mustache off, and swore that by the time he reached the age of 11, he would make a gun that fired explosions without killing the operator. And by golly, he did! <laughs> it took a couple of dozen prototypes before he got the right combination of gun parts and explosives, right? But once he did, woo-wee! <laughs> I'll never forget the plume of smoke that used to be in my neighbor's homestead. They were jerks, though, so it's okay. Gosh, I've been talking your ear off for some time, haven't I? It's so kind of you to listen for this long. I've taken up too much of your time already. Please, don't feel like you have to stick around any longer. <sighs> As a matter of fact, take this for giving this old woman some company. Woo! You're even more attractive than Mr. Torx said you were. Hey. Happy Mercenary Day. I got a job for you. You ever been to Gingerton? The place sucks, full of laughing and singing. They're good customers, though, and they haven't responded about the shipment of guns I sent them by train. You want to do me a mercenary day favor and check the town out for me? The town's frozen? Well, at least those slapsicles aren't singing any Mercenary Day songs now. Still, frozen customers ain't repeat customers. Check out the town furnace, see if something's wrong with it. Doll created Mercenary Day as a promotional thing. For one day every year, all mercenary operations were free. Then, the idiots of Pandora adopted it as a day of charity and giving and... <laughs> Just vomited in my mouth a little. <sighs> Looks like it's out of coal. But who would have stolen the coal? Chinchurton is now my domain, warm blood. Children, get frosty. Crap! Tiny snowman! I thought the living snowmen were just a myth like happy people. They must have frozen the town and ambushed my train full of guns. Get to the tracks and check out the train, would you? I feel a cold wind coming on. Don't you, children? The idiot 
heads of Gingerton bought a bunch of guns from me so they could just give them to each other. As presents. Whatever. If they're so nice, how come they're frozen? Checkmate. You know, I tried to be charitable once. I gave Moxie everything when we were married. You know she's why I'm fat, right? She said, Marcus, make your enemies underestimate you. If you're ruthless, look fat. If you're smart, look sexy. Bright girl. Miss her sometimes. <laughs> Those bandits are stealing my guns! Take them out! That ass coming! <laughs> You're gonna look good! <laughs> That's a great car! You're gonna be my new meat bicycle! This is the beginning of the end of my empty stomach! You'll never enter again! I'm feeling awesome! What lives so far? Get ready! Now, let's get the train back to town where it'll be safe. You gotta lower the bridge, but I think the gears underneath it might be frozen. Tracks clear? Good. Now, convince the conductor to get the train moving. Once the guns are back in Gingerton, we can take them home before the town unfreezes. Then, we'll tell the townsfolk that bandits stole the guns, and I'll keep my money and my merchandise. Hey, thanks for protecting my train, doll. I can get this stuff packed to Gingerton, but I'm afraid I can't go anywhere unless I got you nearby for protection. Just stay close and we'll get moving. Come on now, we gotta keep this train on schedule. Children, destroy that train and the Vault Hunter who protects it! Turn them into a frozen badassicle! Sticks. Let's get some fresh blood on the tracks. Say hello, darling. Robot, attack mode. Atta boy. I control everything, foolish Vault Hunter. The bandits, the snowmen, the elements themselves. Your mercenary day gift is a futile death. something real nice. Dump the coal. After the town unfreezes, we can uh, steal my guns back and escape. Now, let's get the power back on. All right, now let's get out of here before the townsfolk wake up. I'm... I'm alive. You saved us. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Thank you, Marcus. Crap. I guess we won't be stealing the gun shipment. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. The giant snowmen who froze our town won't take kindly to your saving us. We've nothing to pay with, but could your vault hunting friend kill him for us? 
Hi. Yeah, I guess. Vols Hunter, track down the giant snowman and kill him. It'll be a... a mercenary day gift to Gingerton. What are you doing? Get away from the lake! I just want to be left alone so I can kill everybody after you leave! That's where the frozen behemoth sleeps. You'll need to anger him before he'll wake up. Oh, I've got it! Ring those bells to play the Gingerton Anthem! Our people will sing their hearts out with joy. <laughs> Mr. Snowflake hates the sound of joyful singing. Do you hear that, snowman? You may freeze our town, but you may never freeze our hearts. No! Not the cheerful singing! I hate cheerful singing! Make it stop! something out of the gun shipment yes. on the house. I've got as a reward. The kind-hearted folks at the Hyperion Corporation gave us these presents, perhaps as an apology for all those nasty things Mr. Jack did. Mission success imminent. I wonder what's inside. They look like toy robots. Perhaps they will sing songs and dance for our entertainment. <laughs> Success. Oh dear! It appears Hyperion has not changed that tune after all. Did you destroy those presents? I suppose I understand why they wanted us dead. Gingerton is full of X labs, and Hyperion was never fond of anyone who followed Brick. who killed Handsome Jack. Oh, what a splendid day! Your mere presence is my mercenary day gift. <laughs> Wonderful, Vault Hunter! Mercenary day is saved! Return to me at your leisure. Huzzah! This has truly been the best mercenary day ever! Welcome to Hallowed Hollow. The only community for Pandora's exiled and retired undead. I'm the town's lookout, TK Baja. Why don't you come on and find me, would you? Just follow the sound of the blind redneck zombie's voice. <laughs> Lately, a real sourpuss named the Pumpkin Kingpin's been hassling the townsfolk. They're so scared these days, they won't even step outside. Why don't you get out there and give them the old one-two for me? The Pumpkin Kingpin should be in that clearing on the other side of that gate. <laughs> oh, horseradish! The kingpin must have cast a locket spell on this gate! 
You're gonna need an enchanted skeleton key. Why don't you dig up some graves and let's find ourselves some enchanted bones, you hear? What? <laughs> Dagnabbit! The folks buried there must have been normal type people. We're gonna need the bones of wizards to create a working skeleton key. Keep on looking. <laughs> that looks like an enchanted skeleton right there. That's one of the enchanted bones you'll need. Once you find the others and make the key, you'll be able to go toe to toe with the pumpkin kingpin himself. Yeehaw! You done found another enchanted skeleton. I haven't been this happy since that time I got killed. <laughs> Great! Only one more bone piece left, and then you can make yourself a skeleton key. You found the last enchanted skeleton! Why don't you drop him quicker than an uncomfortable subject at a family dinner? Alright! Oh, now that you got all the enchanted bones, why don't you head to the blacksmith's and forge yourself a skeleton key? While you're there, tell Sully the blacksmith that I said hi. Smith's hammer to make the key. Now, where could he be? Sully? Hey, Sully! You got a customer over here? <laughs> oh, there he is! Why don't you ask him for his hammer, would you? I'm sure he'll hand it over if you ask him nicely. Sounds like you two are done talking, huh? I was sure he'd... All right! Now... Smack those bones together and forge yourself a skeleton key. Now that you've got the key, you can find the pumpkin kingpin's lair and make the rivers run orange with pumpkin guts. Kingpin lives, but he ain't here. Must be sleeping underground or something. Oh, I bet if you flooded the area, he'd probably have to come up for air. Go on and head to the windmill. The windmill ain't working, is it? Those abominations there were made by good old Dr. Zed. Speaking of which, have you seen Zed or Ned lately? What about Ted? Oh, oh, wait, I'm so sorry. We ain't supposed to talk about the forbidden, brother. Bye, bad. The Spikos and Scrag tell legends of the creature who kicked him out of the Iridium Blight. Said there was a real big, small or normal-sized man or woman. And that there was one to four of them. The legends are pretty vague. going, so the blood's pumping and everything's ready for a final showdown with the pumpkin kingpin. Whenever you're ready, just head back to the kingpin's domicile. <laughs> that windmill powers our hemoglobin pumps. Got a few vampires in town and, well, they make milkshakes out of blood. I had one once. It was all right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thanks for coming. As payment for my watchfulness, I asked the town folks for my favorite candy. Sugary brain bite. Mm -mm. Sweet baby guns. I've been trying to wean myself off actual brains for a while now. And those candies there sure do do the trick, don't they? Why don't you get me some more, would you? Sugary Brain Bites got all the taste of brains without all the hassle of chasing and murdering and looking at your bloody hands screaming, Oh God, what have I become? Being the lookout for this town might be born a sin. But that there candy makes the whole deal worthwhile. Yeehaw! Hey! You nearly got enough sugary brain bites! Hey, you got enough candy to keep me on a Grey Matter Sugar high for months. Why don't you come on back? Yay! Candy. Thanks a bunches. Before I eat all these, I'm gonna squish them together into a big lump and pretend it's the brain of somebody I don't like. <laughs> nah, who am I kidding? There ain't nobody I don't like. They're all delicious. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ago, there was a big pile of treasure in the desert, and the Volt Hunters found it and killed all the bad guys. The egg. No, 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 that's not how you start a story. I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed this week. Now, this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blade's lost treasure of the sands, of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it, of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it, of a monstrous leviathan, of the vault hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See? That's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. Welcome to my lovely town of Oasis, stranger. Now, if, if you could please save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water! Sandman won't use your rib cage like a hat rack. It's a bloody vault hunter! Stay out of Oasis! I didn't mean to be such a dick about it. Thank you so very much, my friend. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Now that my water is safe, let us chat in person. Like, like people. What's that ruckus coming from Oasis? Oh, is that a fool hunter I see? I'm Captain Scarlet, and something tells me you're here for the treasure, same as I am. So, we've got two options. We can work together and split the treasure, or we could just try to kill one another. Or maybe both! Come find me in Wormwater, yeah? I am Shade, and you... You are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. The townspeople, if you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. She's set up in Wormwater. You'll need a sand skip to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. Much work for you today, my friend. Have you met my friend Frank? He is a very gruff man and an alcoholic. Yes, it is a tragedy. He becomes very irate if he is not given the finest whiskey. Could you, Could you please procure, procure some, some from the merchant caravans, caravans nearby? Oh no! Did my sand skiff just randomly explode, forcing you to stay in Oasis and hang out with me some more? Darn! Well, my other friends out in the flats might have some sand skiff parts for you. They are very nice and alive. Go talk to them. But be careful, if you step on the flat sands out there, the sand grubs will hear you and eat you, and then you won't be able to hang out with me. Why, hello person. I'm feeling very good today, and not that from thirst. How are you? Ah, uh, you've met Lionel. How are you, Lionel? Not dead of thirst. Ha 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 ha! Oh, tell me about it. How is your family? Well, they... End of tale. 
That is a great story, Lionel. Friend, I believe he has an engine capacitor stashed somewhere nearby. It's yours! several weeks ago as a gift. Take it! Only a few more sand skiff parts and you'll be on your way to Captain Scarlet and the Lost Treasure! How fun that you'll be leaving me alone! <laughs> <laughs> Please, attach those parts you retrieved to the sand skiff. Then you may scan it and summon one from any catch-a-ride machine! Thank you so much for helping me out. She is fixed! Wonderful! Please hit that button to digiscan her into the catch-a-ride system. If you want. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. There. You may now destruct a sand skiff from any catch-a-ride machine. Before you go off to meet Captain Scarlet, though, you must return to me. I had no reason to call you back. I just enjoyed your presence. Captain Scarlet has been tracking the treasure of the sands for several years. <gasps> you should sail out to meet her in your sand skiff. Oasis needs your help, my friend. You have met Jocko, yes? He is a simple man with very big dreams. He, he wishes to be a sand pirate, you see. I'm sure he would love it if you could give him some piratey prosthetics. Uh, teeth, peg legs, things of this sort. Many jobs for you. Friend, I have a sensitive matter. You have met Natalie, yes? The town sex pot? She and I, you could say, are an item. I plan to make her my wife, but I lost the engagement ring. Could you find it for me? Please. My great-grandma used to be a sand pirate around these parts, but I don't want anybody to know that. Her old ship is just outside of the Oasis. I need you to scuttle it and erase any evidence of the creepy stuff my grand -gram used to do. Go get the explosives I stashed for you. Hey, vault hunter guy. Need your help. My grandma used to be friends with Captain Blade, the guy who buried the treasure. He left his pet stalker to my grandma when he died, and she took care of it and stuff. But then she died and left it to me, and I'm like, I don't want to take care of a friggin' stalker. They're gross. So go kill it for me. It's an oasis somewhere. Thanks for agreeing to destroy Graham Graham's old ship. I don't want to tell you the kind of stuff she was guilty of, but let's just say it rhymes with child schmafficking. Yeah. Just some schmanabolism on the side. Great! 
please. Now nobody can find out I was ever related to that child schmafficking bitch. Get back to the bounty board whenever you're done here. I mean, I don't really care, but whatever. Look out for the badass! <gasps> that was close. No, it wasn't! Oh, thank God you got the whiskey. Frank was beginning to get violent. Please return the drinks to him. I am a tough man who says tough things in a growly voice. I can- Tape corrupted. You have a problem, Frank. You are so drunk you are speaking the gibberish. Please return to me, friend. I fear Frank is beyond help. Perhaps I should do a... what is the word? Intervention. I goddamn hate my great-grandma. so you may fulfill your lifelong fantasy of being a sand pirate, which was cut short thanks to a tragic childhood injury. Why did the skag cross the road? Because there was water on the other side of the road. <laughs> he laughs to keep from crying. It is so very, very sad. You're going down, jackass. Just keep not a bad start. You have found the ring? Oh, happy days! Please! I feel too shy to propose myself. Could you do me the favor of asking Natalie to marry me? Just oh, shade. Marriage. This is moving so fast. And you know, I don't believe in marriage. I'm sorry, shade. But the answer is no. She said no? Oh, woe is me. I gave you my heart, Natalie. Return to me, friend. At least you have not betrayed me yet. Sit back up, bitch. Things are so wonderful. Jocko will love them almost as much as he loves telling those hilarious jokes and not being dead of thirst. Hey, you found a stupid thing. Way. Be careful. My grandma used to feed orphans to it. So if your parents are dead, like, you killed Captain Blade's stupid stalker. Yay! Go back to the bounty board and I'll pay you. You have found one of Captain Blade's bottles. Inside the bottle, you will find a key. The key opens a chest. The chest has loot. The loot will help you kill things. Find the chest, my friend. <laughs> Log. I had to stage another fake execution today. One of the cooks was caught stealing from the treasure hole, so I had to pretend to kill him to keep the rest of the crew in line. 
Gave him enough cash to disappear, shot him overboard with a blank. <sighs> Keeping up this face, some Captain Blade retains a hell of a lot of work. Here. Money. Woo! Wait! You're going now? We were just beginning to connect! Three hundred looted sand barges and zero casualties. I think the man is starting to unravel. They want to kill stuff. They want to split the loot and head their separate ways. They don't seem to get the fact that our whole operation isn't about greed or bloodlust. It's about survival. We stop robbing ships. We starve. We split up. We die. I won't let that happen. Coming from Oasis. That's a. Alright, well. Sandman wants your part of the compass, bitch! Hand it over! And I'm being attacked. Great, wonderful. Hey, stranger, you give me a hand with Sandman's boys. I'll make it worth your while, alright? Nice moves out there. You're a vault hunter, yeah? Never met one of you guys before. The guns, the power, it's all very striking. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you've come to the right chick. But, gah, oh, I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself. Do that a lot, sorry. I'm, um, Captain Scott. Nice to meet ya. Right, I should probably... So, the legends say that whoever gets all four pieces of a mystical compass will find the lost treasure. I've got a piece, because I'm awesome, but Sandman has one too. Head to Hater's Folly, kill Sandman, and get his piece of the compass. Sound good? Mercer here. I just finished cooking up a badass meal of gasoline and shoe polish, but nobody can enjoy it with Shiv Spike around. Have you met Shiv Spike? He's our radio operator. You should go meet him. I will puke blood into your soul! Kind of an asshole, isn't he? And beyond that, he smells like a corpse somebody vomited up. I want to feed Shiv Spike to the sand grubs, but he stinks so bad they won't eat him. <laughs> Get some condiments. We gotta make Shivy look appetizing. Got some condiments? Great. Bring that stuff back here and we'll try to mask the stink. <laughs> Just let her shift spike those condiments. That'll be gross, but at least it'll... <laughs> yeah, I guess it'll just be gross. Your lungs will hold my future children! Great. Now just push them in and let the sand grubs do the rest. 
I am a searching collection of hatred! You know, I think I'm gonna miss him. Anyway, good job. Come on back. Actually, you know what? I don't miss him at all. <laughs> I'm Mercer, the cook for this dumbass crew. You know the number two top killer of sand pirates? Scurvy. Number one is self-inflicted gunshot wounds, but that ain't really my department. Give me some fruit, will ya? Found some fruit. Good. Now. Oh, uh, oh, for the love of... Sorry, Murray just shot himself in the leg. Hey, Murray, know what'll cheer you up? Some vitamin C. Salmon ate my parents. Oh, suck it up, Murray. This is to the jackass who just arrived in Oasis. We don't take kindly to independent treasure hunters around here. We're Union Sand Pirates. Now, we're calling you out, Scab. Our Union versus you. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. <laughs> Turf for the Union? Uh, hell yes, you're the best. Hell yes, you're the... Uh, uh. Don't worry about Murray, he'll be fine. Until he finds out I'm the one who killed his parents. But they were dicks, so whatever. Got a minute? I'm trying out some new catchphrases. Let me know if any of these grab you. Yar! A vast matey! Yo ho ho! Hoist the mainsail! Rock the plank! Shovel me timbers! Oh no, that one didn't work at all. Pip, pip! Sir Hammerlock here with a bit of a job for you. I've heard tell some creature is sneaking around Hater's Folly, stealing treasure, slicing off faces and the like. Sounds terribly interesting. Hunt it down, would you? If you're wondering why I'm sending you to kill Sandman rather than do it myself, first of all, good question, glad to see you, you know, taking the initiative. Second of all, Sandman's pretty strong and you're expendable as hell, so good luck! So, there's a lot of water under the city of Oasis. <laughs> what a, a surprise! <laughs> oh, sorry, I hacked into your Echo device shortly after we met, so I can see everything you can. I get horrifically bored, and it's fun to watch you kill people. <laughs> It's a good thing no one in an 
oasis is dying of thirst. <laughs> Otherwise, the sight of that enormous spring might fill me with a tragic rage. <laughs> When you do find this creature, please deal with it quickly. The poor fellow who echoed me about the situation, the name of Jesse, well, the creature wore his face like a jock strap. You've killed it? Wonderful! Now, if you could return to the bounty board, we can see about stapling Jesse's face back onto his skull. Back when Sandman and I were like this. Oh, right. You can't see through the radio. I'm crossing my first two fingers like this, first buds. Until we stumbled upon some of Captain Blade's old notes about the lost treasure, that is. Together, Sandman and I found two pieces of Captain Blade's mystical compass. Then, because I'm an idiot, I tried to stab him in the back. Literally. The knife blade snapped, he shot me in the leg and ran. It was pretty embarrassing, but that's when I learned never betray your friends until you're sure you've got the upper hand. I told you to lay off. Now I gotta kill you, your friends, and your family! How would he even know where your family lives? He's... just ignore him, he's talking crap! You really should have died when I told you to. Now you're gonna learn that big pain... ...comes from small packages! Big guy! Oh, thank God! You're half the man I am, and I'm only half your side! So if I was your side, I'd be fucked! Dead? Nice! Now once you find his compass piece, we'll have two of the four we need to find the treasure. I have the slightest idea where the other two pieces are, but, you know, it's a start. Part of me feels kind of bad I didn't get to kill Sandman myself. But the other part of me is happy I got to chill back here with the latest issue of Crime Fighter Frog. It, it's about a frog in Crime Fighter Dear Diary, I know where the third compass piece is. Hyperion's got it. Judging by what they've been saying over the radio, they think it's just some trinket. <laughs> They're gonna ship it out on a caravan in the worm water. I've just got it. Oh, great. That jackass from Oasis is coming after me. BRB diary. Well, that's lucky. Come on back to Wormwater so we can get the third compass piece and be that much closer to finding the treasure. To kill. They found him sitting around in an oasis while I got of the boat. After they strung him up, they got to talking. Found out I'd never killed another soul in my life. My guess is they'll raid the treasure room for guns and shoot me when my back's turned. Might as well let them do it. I'd rather be killed than have to wipe out my own men. This will be my last log entry. Captain Blade. Signing off. Good news! You don't have to help me staple Jesse's face back on because he's dead. Hemophilia ho.
holding my arms really far apart. Is, but I know someone who might. Yahoo! His name is Herbert, and he lives out in the rust yards. Take that gift box over there. Hold on to that gift and don't give it to Herbert until I tell you to. Now go meet up with him. Off with you now. A few of my men deserted the ship when Sandman attacked. Could you kill them, please? Deserters really bug me since I only have one rule on my ship. If you join, it's for life. That and no fatties. <laughs> sorry, that was supposed to be a joke. I... Yeah, sorry. Now, you might be worried that once you get all four pieces of the compass, I'll kill you and take it for myself. Wrong. Even once complete, the compass still needs to be taken to a very super secret location before it will reveal where Blade's treasure is buried. You can rest easy for now. I really miss Bowser's number 7 through 13. which, ugh, I've murdered my fair share of children, but don't brag about it, that's rude. knowledgeable about Captain Blade's treasure. Then I kicked him off because you'll Goodbye, you'll see. Shop anywhere else, I'll have you killed. Finally, you Death by rope. Oh, if Herbert asks about me, don't say anything. I'm going to try you. I'm going to fling it off. But I haven't even done it. I'm going to try it. I 
Zerda's name. It was something like unisexual. Taylor, Tanner, something like... Uh, I feel really bad killing someone without knowing their name. Terry! It was Terry! Whew, I almost felt guilty Terminated! Though. Looks like that's all of them. Head on back whenever you're ready. Hold on. Hold on a second. Scarlet, is that you? No, you're not Scarlet, but I can taste her scent on you. She wants the last compass piece, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. Let's talk, you and me. If I help you complete the compass, Scarlet will be so happy. Oh, yes. But no, the compass alone won't do. She needs to know how much I care. The tapes. Yes. Get the tapes. Get the tapes. I'll mark them on your echo. worried something like this would happen. Just collect his little love letters as quick as you can, sorry. the tapes once you deliver those with the last piece of the compass scarlet will have to take me back the last compass piece is in that chest ah must be rusted rusty rusty just shoot the lock Your shot destroyed the last piece of the legendary compass. Whoops. But 
It's like when you shot the lock, you blasted the final compass piece into bits. Okay, this is bad. Um, no, wait! Uh, I can make a replacement! I just need parts. Just get to the Washburn refinery. Go, go, go! really can't understate just how unserious I was being about the no fatties thing. I actually prefer overweight men. What's up, yo? This here scooter coming at you from Sanctuary. I needs me some old ass scraps from y'all's rust yard to keep the city's engines a turning. If it's sturdy, metallic, and can give you lead poisoning just from looking at it, uh, grab it and ship it my way, all right? This build is disgusting. I will determine the exact mathematical level of its disgustingness after further study.
You got the polycriton? Gimme! And this goes there. I tighten that. Cut that down just a hair. Aha! Here you go, the last piece of the compass. Now give that to Scarlet, along with the tapes. And she'll love me again. And if she doesn't, I'll follow her, and I'll smell her, and I'll just make her love me. <laughs> you got the compass piece? Great! Now give her that little gift I gave you and come on back. A gift? From Scarlet? I knew it! I knew she cared! Ah. Oh, sorry about that, Herbert. Oh, I forgot to mention you were carrying a rather large bomb around with you, didn't I? Many apologies. Now, just bring back that last compass piece so we can find out where the treasure's buried. Echo software piracy eats away at the moral fabric of society. Several sand pirates have bootlegged copies of the latest Echo simulation programs. Murder them and retrieve the ill-gotten goods. Time to assemble the compass and find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. Here, this is my piece of the compass. Take it. Now combine it with the other three pieces of the compass you've collected on that table over there. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I love a man who can go very fast. 
Go drive your skiff around in circles very quickly. I find this sexually attractive. There, there it is. The compass of the sands. Please grab it. And now we have treasure to find. Take the compass to Magnus Lighthouse. Captain Blade built the Magnus Lighthouse a few years before he died. His notes say that if you take the compass to the top of the lighthouse, it'll show you exactly where the treasure is buried. Of course, Blade's notes also had a lot to say about society being secretly run by sentient tacos. He kind of went off the rails there near the end. Drove so very fast. Come back to me so I can tell you how great you are. Ain't gonna find any You are very good at driving fast. Va 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 I am sexually. You are attractive to me. Thank you. the treasure before me, which you won't, of course, but just in case, be careful of the Leviathan. It ain't Roscoe, as I may have already mentioned, and Blade's notes say it will die to protect the treasure chamber. Honey. Hurry to the top of the lighthouse. The Leviathan knows how close we are to finding the treasure, and he sounds rather miffed. Pretty awesome, right? You're at the top of the lighthouse? Lovely! Just find somewhere to place Blade's compass, and we'll find out exactly where the treasure is buried. Is it working? What's happening? You did it! It looks like the treasure's buried in warm water! <laughs> I'll meet you out there! Top notch, my friend! And just kidding! It's honestly been a lot of fun, but this is where you die. the blade. 
chest and treasure. It got my entire crew killed. But if you want to die looking for it, have fun. This is Captain Blade, signing off for good. Saying that you're all stag licking, rat sucking, ass gobbling, schmuck faces. And you can all Dragon suck man. my wing leg. That language harms, Pandal. You slide up, fist of itch. Die! What? Followed us. The good news is it's taking us to the treasure room. But the best news is, do you remember my pet Roscoe? I found him! Start the anarchy! Killed Roscoe! Ah! Ah! Sure, well done! Uh, discussions the better part of running away. This is Ben's here! Hunter. Damn, I dropped my pistol. Do me a favor and don't grab it, would you? Because that would be stealing. And stealing is wrong.
treasure of the sands is yours, my friend. They were amazing, weren't they, Lionel? Take corrupted. I agree. So ends the story of how the Vault Hunters defeated the treacherous Captain Scarlet and slew the Leviathan. And as the sun set on Pandora, the Vault Hunters realized that while they'd found Captain Blade's lost army, the true treasure of the sands had been inside them all along. The end. How was that? That last part was really hokey. Yeah, it felt kind of contrived, didn't it? Extremely. But otherwise, you ended that story pretty well for a dirty little orphan. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. I gotta teach somebody to tell these stories when I'm gone. Might as well be you. Yeah. I love you, Marcus! That's weird. I have pressing news! A Hyperion engineer has gone mad with power out in the desert. Perhaps the alien thingies of this planet have perverted his mind or something. I don't know. I have a plan. You will shoot him many times with bullets and he will die. Be careful though. He is very powerful. You may need to bring some friends as backup.